Hi, and welcome to this tutorial about Academic Search Complete. If you're looking for an easy database to search some of the library's resources, Academic Search Complete is for you. You can think of a database as a gateway to information. This one happens to include scholarly articles, magazines, newspapers, and much more. Plus, it has an interdisciplinary focus, so it covers many different fields, including the humanities, social sciences, and education. It's a great place to start your research. From your English 101 guide, look for the box that says Good Databases for Scholarly Articles. Let's click Academic Search Complete and get started on our research. I'm interested in banned books in high schools. I want to explore the issues of censorship. Let's say I'm wondering how banning books affects high school students. It is important to point out that database searching is not like searching Google or other search engines. In Google, I might try searching, how does banning books affect high school students, and find relevant results. If I attempt this search in a database, it just isn't as intuitive as Google. We see that my search did not yield any results, and its suggested sources are not relevant to my topic. When searching in a library database, I want to keep my search terms general and broken into keywords. In this example, my keywords could be censorship, high school, banned books, and students. I'm going to start by searching for censorship. With almost 14,000 results, I definitely need to narrow my results down. I can use these additional search boxes to limit my results. By adding high school into the second box, the database is now only showing me sources that discuss censorship and high school. I still have a lot of results. I'm going to try adding another keyword, students. I'm getting closer, but I want to explain that database searching is a process. It may take several tries to find what you're looking for. Play with your search terms and brainstorm new keywords. Censorship seems broad. Maybe I could try banned books instead. I now have under 20 results, which will be much easier to look through. I know I need a scholarly article for this assignment, so I'm going to use this button on the left to limit my results to only peer-reviewed articles. Wow, my second result looks really relevant to my topic. Let's click the title and learn more about it. I can read this abstract, which gives me a summary of the article. I also have all of the information necessary to make my citation here. If I decided I want to use this article for my research, the toolbar on the right gives me the option to email a link to myself. This would be very helpful as it can be difficult to remember the search terms that I use. On the left, I'll see my options for accessing the full text for this article. It may say something like PDF full text or HTML or even check for full text like this one. If I click this link, my database is going to again function as a gateway. I can see I have many other options for reading the full text of this article, and by clicking there, I now can read my full text. I hope this introduction to Academic Search Complete helps you find great library resources. And always remember, if you need more help, just ask us.